Hello everybody and welcome to the bonus video of Let's Play Aiko and in this particular episode I'm just going to show off the what you can do in New Game Plus really and I guess without further ado I guess we can get going. So the first thing I wanted to show is that you can actually skip cutscenes. I'm not sure if you can do it in the regular, uh, through the regular, regular game, unless you can do it after certain points, like if you get a game over and such, but um, I just wanted to show that off. Even though it's not really a bonus feature, I just really wanted to, you know, you, you can do it in New Game Plus. And there's Yara waiting for us. We'll get you. We'll get you down again. And she's sleeping again. There she goes. Down again. Down, down, down. And we'll meet her down there. That was a lucky jump. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And I'm back with at the cage. So in the let's play I did it, it took about five times to, to finally jump in the cage. I think I managed to like do it in one try, which I did. So yeah. And which brings me to the next uh, bonus feature. Um I had annotations over some of the text, like oh you got this text. Well, in New Game Plus it's actually been translated into English. Really cool, in my opinion. So I'm not going to show all the cutscene, by the way. And most of the bonus features are sort of in the options menu. Like whole type still is still the same from like the first time round. You also got film effect. Um, what else do you get? Yes, uh, vibration also ends up being on the options menu also. So I want to show off the. Uh, film effect which is really cool like it's like in the credits like at the end of the game so you can like literally play the whole game through this like really old like type of film it's really cool in my opinion though personally I don't really use it and um, I like to play the game with all in the, with all the color and such but that's just my opinion but I really think they are cool though I think there are four yeah there are four well, all together so and each time you use a different film effect, it gets older, and it's really cool. I really like it. And I accidentally pressed the sound to mono. <laughs> so here's film effect four. I really like it. Like the detail of the like the film effect, like the lines and like the jumpiness of it. Also, but I think I might keep it on film effect one for now. And you also might have noticed that there's a little button called players. Yeah, um, in New Game Plus, you can. I don't know if it's in every single region of the game, like if it's in it available in every region. I mean, but um, you can have two players play it, and it's. I really like it, even though I've not really used it. Though I will show it off later because at the time of the recording, it was like eight o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Onward to the next bonus feature. Okay, okay, not quite. Not quite there yet. But we have to be naughty once again. Break the chandelier. Woo! Uh, you know Aiko has to pay for that, don't you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to say that though. Nigel's been a naughty boy. <laughs> okay, now we're on to the next feature. So I'm going to show off the two players, and I did get my mum to help me with the this particular video. So yeah. So uh, even though even though there were no monsters, and I've probably done it myself, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know. Let's have, have someone help in my family. Help me, help me out with the video. <laughs> so 
So, oh, you can tell there are two people controlling. One's controlling. I'm controlling Aiko, and my mum was controlling Yoda. Just like running around, really. But I think you can open idle doors at the same time. But I'm not sure. I've not. I've not played the game all the way through with two people. And yes, while I was explaining that, when even though it did cross over to this uh, video uh, clip, so yeah, after I finished the Easter arena, she did go go back up the ladder. Grr. And so the next bonus feature. So particular in the. Uh, this is the PS2 version I'm talking about, so I don't know um, if it was on the. I don't know if they changed anything in the re-release of the of, of these two games. That um, in the Japanese version and the European version of this game, there was a another weapon you could get by doing the basketball challenge. Well, I can't call it a basketball challenge because even though it's not really a challenge. <laughs> And I did actually forget to cheat it as well, so yeah. But all you have to do is just like place the ball on the floor before you um, put your order on that pressure pad. And this weapon is so cool, by the way. I just had to say that. Um, now, if some of you may have already guessed if you played the game or saw video clips of the game. I was thinking maybe I should have LP'd the game all the way through on the second playthrough. And let's see if I can get it in one hit. Well, one shot. I used to play basketball, but I can't remember the basketball terms. It's been that long, though. So, yeah. Yep. That's no mace. That's the uh, lightsaber. It's a really cool weapon as well. It's like the ultimate weapon of Ico. Like you've got the sword, you got the stick, sword, mace, and lightsaber for the European and um, Japanese version of, the, of this game. I don't know if it was available. In, I don't know if it was uh, yeah available in any other regions of any other versions of this game. I mean, I don't know why I'm talk, I don't know why I said region. So. This thing is badass. I'm just gonna say that now. I'm just putting it out there right now. It's badass. Because this thing can kill enemies, like shadow enemies. Depending what type of shadow enemy you get, it can take between one or two hits to kill an enemy. Um, it's a really cool weapon. And I'm gonna show a few fights with this thing, which is probably why this video is like 17 minutes long. Because I wanted to show a few fights with this thing. Because it's awesome. And here we go, fight number one. Still in the waterfall area, by the way. So, two enemies for the price of one. It's awesome. There's another one over here. Come here, you. And it even makes like these little zoom noises. I'm no Star Wars fan, by the way. I, I don't even, I don't even know the Star Wars like terminology. But I have seen one of the films though, so yeah. And I wanted to show if I set it off again because it's so cool. I don't know what that voice was. And here we go, fight number two. Um, obviously when the uh, lightsaber is like short, um, it can like take about, take about, usually about two hits to kill an enemy, like sometimes I've had like one enemy go down when when this thing hit an enemy, if that made any sense at all, but obviously when it's, when you hold your other's hand and it gets uh, <laughs> longer, cute though that's what she said jokes in the, <laughs> I had to say that, um, but yeah, 
it can kill enemies a hell of a lot faster. I think you can get like two enemies at the same time. And Yoda again climbs down the ladder one rung at a time. More enemies, and I think this is the last bait I'm going to show. But as you can see, I have the stick. So come here, Yoda. Come here quick. Don't get stuck on the uh, torch uh, thing. Even though they did eventually get her. But it still gave me lots of time to get the lightsaber, which is really cool. I think that was just luck go and the camera was going out of the control because I had to see if Yoda got captured because I, when I was playing this I did not have the sound on I didn't have the sound on and I did attempt to complete this game in like in one day but um, it was because like if you may well <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say right now let me start again um, Like last week, not last week, the week before, I was, which is the reason why I didn't load. Um, I wasn't particularly well. Like I got a bug, got sick. Ugh. So, um, um, and I, and I was like, because I started to like feel while well playing this, so I did it in like two sittings, two sessions, which is what I was trying to get out. And for those who are wondering, yes, this lightsaber can be used as like a sword at the same time. And nearly at the end of the game. The cages are annoying. I did have a long video clip for this, but I just wanted to show that. <laughs> and there's one video clip I didn't show during the LP. It's this like little movie if you press, if you don't click start um I'm sorry not the microphone um you can get this little movie on so I'll see you guys after it I'm sorry for talking a little bit through it Now we're at the end of the game, and you may have no may notice that this is like the beach that Ico gets, um, that Ico drifts to. But there, there is one last thing I want to show, and it's this alternate ending. And it believe well, yeah, believe me, it's the best ending in my opinion. I love it. It's my favorite ending for this uh, game.
So I'll see you guys soon because we need a certain prop for this. And here we are. Um, if you just keep going north, you'll see this grass patch and there's loads of watermelons. So it's not hard to miss. Um, just go north of your boat and then you'll find the watermelon patch or the just the grassy patches in general. So I'll see you guys when we get to over to Yorda. I'm almost there. And here we go, the ultimate ending. So there we go, the alternate ending is my favourite ending, it's just so cute and and you get a sense that they are free and they're eating again so, well, yeah, Aiko's eating again. So um, if you want to watch the LP from the start I'll post a link to episode 1 um, which should come up on the screen round about now. So um, I'll see you guys. Um, in my next let's plays which are or should be already uploaded so I'll see you guys in them goodbye